In this presentation, I would like to take a look at removing the crankshaft from your Honda GC series engine. As usual, before we begin, I'd like to take a look at the expectations. So before removing your crankshaft, there's a couple of precautions that you have to take, uh, most notably because you are working next to other people. The rod cap must be indexed to the connecting rod. It actually is already done from the factory, but the identifying mark that signifies such is exactly the same no matter which rod cap you have on which connecting rod. They're all the same. However, it does nothing to prevent you from mixing your rod cap up with your neighbors. Obviously, we have to remove the connecting rod cap to be able to remove the crankshaft from the engine. If you mismatch or put your rod cap on backwards, you will need to completely disassemble at least the bottom half of your engine to fix the situation. It's going to require a substantial amount of work. If you don't remember whose engine you interchanged it with, you may end up with a running engine, or excuse me, a non-running engine at the end of the year, which of course would constitute a significant point to merit. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of legwork at this point to prevent these issues from happening later. Again, the rod cap's unique to your engine, just as the block is unique to your crankshaft. So throughout the time I've messed with these engines, instead of throwing away parts, if you will, that are kind of out of tolerance a little bit, Honda will match out of tolerance parts, if you will, together and come up with a complete engine assembly. So let's say the big end on your connecting rod is a thousandth too big. Let's just say that. Honda will find a connecting rod that the hole is equally a thousandth too big, which still gives them the same tolerance, but doing it with mismatched parts. So when you interchange parts with other engines that may be from the outliers, if you will, of the bell curve, the parts are probably not going to work. When you buy new Honda parts from the store, they typically will come from the middle of the bell curve, so they'll fit more engines than ones from the extreme edges, if you will, of the typical bell curve. So just be careful with your parts is what I'm saying. When you're finished with that and you've made sure not to interchange any parts with your neighbor, go ahead and get an instructor's signature for having the crankshaft removed from your engine. Let's take a look at how this works. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, you notice there are no unique identifying marks anywhere on this uh, connecting rod assembly. And, and the, uh, the observation isn't actually correct because it's stamped on the other side. But like I said earlier, there is no unique identifier for this particular uh, connecting rod to this particular cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to scratch it in a unique spot that the chances of me scratching another one in the exact same spot are actually pretty dang slim. So that identifies or indexes the correct direction of this rod cap and the correct rod that this cap goes to. At this point in time, what we can do is simply rotate the crankshaft to about bottom dead center. We can remove the two bolts holding the rod cap on. Make sure to completely remove them. They are unique to this engine, rather in a way that they're the only two bolts like it. They don't interchange with anything. We can now push the piston all the way up to top dead center. We can rotate the crankshaft freely. We can then remove the timing belt. By removing this pin, the pair of pliers, simply extract that, and then slipping the belt down, removing the camshaft, and pulling the belt out the back of the engine. It is very important to note that the belt is installed with the gates text upside down, which is actually right side up, considering that this engine is currently sitting upside down on the table. So when the engine is installed and in service, considering it's been used at this point, because uh, your engine's been ran during the start and run activity, the text on the belt needs to be right side up when the engine is installed correctly 
on equipment. We'll set the belt off to the side. And at this point, we can simply rotate the crankshaft a little bit and pull it straight up to clear the connecting rod. Once that operation is complete, I need you to reinstall the rod cap back onto the connecting rod. We were talking about that index mark and you can actually see that. I realize it'll be a little bit out of focus. You can see that done as a line. There's also a matching line on this side of the connecting rod. So we're gonna go ahead and snap the two pieces together like that. And then we'll manually run the bolts up into it just a little bit so that they don't get lost. This has been a look at how to remove the crankshaft and index the rod cap in your Honda GC series engine.